Hey everyone, what's up? Sam Bro Pro here, and this is actually post commentary. Yay! Um, yeah. So pretty much what happened was I recorded this whole thing, and it rustled my jimmies by not recording my microphone. <laughs> So I got to watch all this as I commentate over it, trying to figure out what I said last time. All right, let's do this. So you're gonna want to open the GIMP and or whatever other program you're using. What what was I doing here? I was talking about something. Oh yeah, some of the map. <laughs> so we're gonna rename this map and make sure the width and height is uh, 17 by 13. Still, um, you're gonna make it interior. And I was talking about changing the music here, which you can you can hear the music. But it, it recorded stereo makes perfectly fine. But no, not my mic. Oh yeah, I was also explaining how I made my own title screen music here. Bow, 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 bow. But it turned out not to be title screen music, but instead, it actually turned out rather to be um potatoes. No. It turned out to be like the song we're gonna be using for the first intro map. Just me poking around with the music here. Uh, it's so hard to do post commentary, actually. But you know what? Despite the fact that all uh, the, uh, the good side, actually, uh, uh, that's one of my favorite themes right here. Too slow, speed it up. Bow, wow. <laughs> there. Anyways, the bright side is I can actually increase the mic quality, so it's good. Dude, how do you not beatbox to that? That is like the most amazing tune. Oh, let me move my mic. I don't want to like, you know what, never mind. I don't want to make static. I got Gatorade for the win. So anyway, this is me changing the, uh, the theme of the song. You can skip ahead if you want. Scene two. Come on. There it is. Oh, come on, I thought I was going to play it longer, I was going to beatbox again. So, yeah, if you haven't skipped ahead already, um, yeah, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Now, you're going to want to... Wait, what? Why did I go back in here? Oh, I think that's when I was explaining the width and height. <laughs> I don't even know my own ways. That is sad. Okay. Now... What was I talking about here? I was like babbling on about something, I bet. Oh yeah, that's right, I was, I was indecisive on what uh, roof I should be, like, getting. Using. Oh, that's right, um, you can either use the black thing, or you can um, use the transparency square. But, I, I use the black square. I was kind of going to going, blah, 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 blah. I was going to go with um, the bluish roof thing, you see at the, well, above the tile that I selected there. But, um, potatoes. So, yeah. Who doesn't like potatoes? What was I doing there? I was, oh my gosh. Okay, yes, I see. Craig, you can spin your mouse. That's awesome. Cool. Oh my gosh. Will you just, like, will you get on with the tutorial? Stop babbling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the part where I, um, I do that. I kind of like go random with the, the, the design and the style. Um. Okay. You know what? You guys can totally skip this if you want to. If you already know how to make a map, you can skip ahead to the part where I use the GIMP. Oh, I didn't. I didn't notice that. I didn't even see that window popping up. What? How did you use my host process? What? Is that on the recording? I think it is. I'm watching this in full screen. It should be in the recording. Oh my gosh. Norton, how long were you there? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, I was going to say, don't tell me you stuck there for the whole recording and I didn't notice it. Alrighty. So, after me babbling on about useless stuff, I tried to decide a wall. Then I'm like, no. Then I'm like, ew, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look tasty at all. What? What? So then I decide... I was like, so well, Russell, my jam. Or I said something along those lines, and I decided to use the traditional wood style that everybody uses in every RPG game. Because everybody hates technology. Not really. But I don't know what I'm saying. You might want to ignore me. 
So yeah, I, I kind of designed some random stuff here. Later on during the episode though, I do decide not to have like a little door at the bottom left corner, but rather instead to have it on the right. That uh, opens up more opportunity for windows. You'll see what I mean later. I was explaining how it looked like somebody just had like a massive like amount of green diarrhea and just like splattered it everywhere. Okay, that came out worse than it did during the recording. Um, okay then. Yay for awkwardness. I was also explaining how some of those like are eye kills. Get read for the win. <sighs> okay, I'm supposed to be commentating here, not... I'm supposed to be teaching, man. I'm sitting here battling. So what you want to do now is find a floor. I, I just went with that one, I think. Yeah, trust me, it does get better, Rose. It does get better. It does get better. All right, so now you're trying to look for a window. I was trying to look for a window here. Um, I started to go with the blue ones, and I accidentally had the paint tool. <laughs> I started to go with the blue ones, but then I decided I'll go with the red ones. Then decide some where to place them, though. Now, oh yeah, that's right, I had like a, a, I made like a little square thing there for the bed to sit on. I think that's where I was deciding to change it to the red ones. I just went, I went with that bed because it's kind of like raggedy. Almost like a prison bed. And again, who would have a prison bed in their room? And again, who would live in a haunted house? Now, I, I really don't have any plans on what The Awakening is going to be about. But uh, it is going to be an official game once we're done with the horror series. And, well, you guys, whoever watched the horror series would know exactly how the game goes. But um, for those who didn't, well, they shall be surprised. It... So right here, I was kind of figuring out how I can get rid of some blank space. Which uh, I ended up doing. But, oh, hi, table on the roof. I could say that. I didn't know y'all table was on the roof. I don't know. I went with that one instead because you can place stuff on it. Which I forgot to do during the recording, I think. I know I, I, I stamped a piece of paper on the thing. And, you know, you can also skip ahead on this a little bit if you want. Um, again, like, you can skip to the part where I'm using the GIMP if you want to. But, yar. Miss. Nair. Um. But yeah, I was explaining how you can place broken stuff or barrels. And I was saying PewDiePie would hate you if you, you're making a game for PewDiePie. He would hate you if you stamp barrels everywhere. Then again, who would have a barrel in their room? Especially a broken one. And again, who would have a prison bed in their room? <sighs> so here's me placing pictures everywhere. Cloned pictures that I didn't realize. Hello, corner of the chair. Oh, yeah, I also tried seeing how it would look. Like it would, but, oh, yeah, here's where I was talking about. Uh, imagine having a big chair in your room and you wake up, you turn to your you turn to your your right, and you see freaking Slenderman like sitting in your chair or something, and then you proceed to poo yourself. And yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is boring, guys. Like, I'm trying to, you know, do post-commentary, and it is not working out too well. It is just not. Oh, that's right. I started talking about placing a world map there, and then I was like, oh, no, you know what? That looks better. No, we're not going to clone that. I stamped a mirror there, and then I was kind of debating whether I should, where I should have the clock in the mirror. I managed, I ended up putting the clock there, or there. Where did I put it? I think I put it there, yeah. I tried putting the mirror there, but that didn't look too right. Because I was like, wait, you can actually... Wait, what? what? What was I doing there? Why did I do that? Oh, that's right. I was like, you know what? You can place that there. But then I was like, then, then again, why would a guy have like a girly mirror like right there? And then I wish I knew... You know what? I wish we had some kind of super memory or something. We can completely like repeat what we said. Because then it wouldn't technically be post-commentary, even though it would. So yeah, I put a bookshelf there. But I deleted it. Um, 
I was wondering what that thing was. Like, I went, oh, well, screensaver. No, you, you do not. No. Alright, um. Anywho. Not screensaver, the, um, thing. Yeah. So that's where I decided I'm gonna, um, we're done working on the map. Which, I'm gonna add stuff to the table later. And here's where I was talking about using the GIMP. Um. I was talking about something. So subscribers, how's it been? I don't know. I was talking about something there. Oh yeah. I was, okay. What you're gonna want to do is press print screen when you're um you want to get a screenshot of your uh your your desktop while you're in um while you're on RPG Maker on your keyboard. There's a there's a button that says print screen or P R T S C R N or something similar along those lines. Now what you want to do is you want to select all of your map. Um, if you start from the top left corner there, you, you want to crop out your map by, and the width would be 544 by 416. This is the whole, this is why you want to make the uh, the map the default size, because it's exactly one screen. <laughs> and uh, later on I will be showing you guys a script, thanks to one of my subscribers. And he actually has a video of him actually uh, using shadows on a big town with that script. Alrighty. Yar. Or I don't know. So what we done here is painted, we made a new layer and we painted it black and um, I ended up making the transparency lower than 50 but for now you might want to do 50 for this part of the tutorial. You're going to want to select the eclipse tool the circle thing and drag a circle around your window areas or an oval like shape and I found this part to be interesting right here so I, I go to resize it right and I'm like oh I clicked the wrong thing now look at this what 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 is this thing where'd it come from giant eclipse uh, so anyways what we're doing here is actually making invisible windows pretty much there's gonna be windows there that create a light insert you don't say Mimi face here what was I doing? I was talking about something. Oh yeah, you want to hold, uh, you want to hold control and unselect the part of the eclipse that uh, is on the wood. You'll see why here soon. Post commentary is really hard. <laughs> um, so yeah, and the same thing with up top if you have it up top, but I didn't. You want to go to, you want to right click and go to select and go to feather and you want to type in twelve. Um, it should have been more, but I ended up blurring it anyways. Go to uh, by going to filters, blur, and Gaussian blur. Yeah, Cause you know potatoes. Now and type twenty five, and you see how it kind of creates like this giant blur. Now you have lighting for your room, which we're gonna. I'll show you how to import all that later. Now I dragged the opacity down. Uh, showing I was explaining right here how the lower your opacity, the brighter it is in the room, and the less the the lights illuminate, or the windows illuminate. Whatever the light illuminates. Yeah, let's go with that. So I made a new layer under the shadows layer, but um, I was explaining something here. Oh yeah, I was explaining how to uh, get in the the same window mode I'm I'm in by going to Windows Single Window Mode. Now I was gonna write something on the wall here, but then I had the uh, the idea. I had the idea to actually start with a shadow. Oh yeah, make it. Yeah, do what I'm doing there. <laughs> so I had the idea to start with the um, just with the shadow, and then have writing appear on the wall later on. Um, so you're gonna export, and right here I was, I was like, oh, I'll be right back. So anyways, when I came back, I'm like, oh yeah, I was recording. No, I knew I was recording. I just quickly got there to save you guys some time. So you want to go to your art documents, RPG Maker VX Ace, the name of your game, and then graphics. Yeah, that worked out pretty smooth. <laughs> I was like commentating, like, yeah, that was cool. So, untitled, name it Players Room One. You want to go to pictures, by the way. Yeah. And I was explaining something here. I was like, and really I was having like, what? You don't need all this. There are no sharks out here. Um. Anyway, so uncheck all that, and it will be like. Oh, no, it makes the file size smaller. Now we unhide that layer, 
just for temporary like you want to hide it before you export otherwise you're gonna have like this giant stamp of a huge room in your and it's gonna be blocking your character so on this on the layer underneath the shadows you're gonna write help that's gonna stamp there on the wall in the middle of a cutscene later on I was explaining how, hey, you see it here? You don't see it. No. Come here. All right. Room two. Name it two instead of one. Same thing, but just two instead of one. So I was, um, so you want to go to events. You're going to want to make, make a new event, but make it a parallel process. So you're going to go to the tab two, and you're going to go to show picture. Make the number two in case you want to, like, Later on, use other images. I was, I was kind of showing stuff here. Uh, anyways, show uh, show player room one zero zero opacity is super five. You can also decrease that to change the lighting if you want, but then you'll also kind of change the transparency of your um, help text too if you if you potatoes. Right here, you can do erase the event to stop it from processing. I think it automatically doesn't. Uh -huh. Here we go. I was explaining, I was showing off the lighting here, how it um, it acts like real light does. And yeah, so I'm, I'm ending off this episode here. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you guys later. Uh, when was I, what was I talking about here? Oh yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.